Eighteen-year-old George Ann Hawkins was completing her first year at the University of Washington and preparing for her Spanish finals exam. On the evening of June 10, 1974, she attended a party with a sorority sister and dropped in on her boyfriend to say goodnight at his Beta Theta Phi fraternity house. She picked up some revision notes from him for the exam. She was cautious but very familiar with the alleyway behind the fraternity in her sorority house. The distance was short, approximately 90 feet away, and well lit. She began walking at approximately 1 a.m. Her last known words were directed to a friend of her boyfriend when she laughingly wished him, Adios! She was never seen again. There is a parking lot just before her sorority house. It is likely this is where she encountered Bundy. He likely requested her assistance wearing a fake cast near his Volkswagen Bug. Like Hawkins, Ted Bundy was raised in Tacoma. He then probably knocked her unconscious and drove her away. Bundy would provide sketchy details about her killing before his own execution. He claimed that he dumped her remains along with two other victims in Issaquah. Her remains have never been confirmed, but his version is likely accurate, even by a confirmed liar and serial killer. George Ann Hawkins was one of the few victims that he actually expressed remorse for.